Hi, welcome back to my shop. In this video, I am restoring this um, beating plane. It is right around. It was made right around the beginning of the 1800s, um, possibly late eight, late 1700s. But I'm pretty sure I got a definitive age, but somewhere between 1800 and 1840. Not sure. I'll have to check on that and maybe put it in the description. But yeah, it's a W M Moss. Yeah, W M Moss molding um, beating plane commonly known as a molding plane that's just style of plane and it is a I don't can't quite tell what size it is but yeah so I'll take you through just for further you get and I'll show you how I clean it off with boiled linseed oil so here is how I clean and refresh okay so here is how I clean and refresh uh, molding planes with boiled linseed oil and some really fine steel wool um, I'm not trying to remove any finish or any patina here, just clean off the dust and sort of re, um, I don't know what the word would be, but just freshen up the plane with some fresh boiled linseed oil. That's traditionally what they used on planes. I know there's new methods, but this is just the method I use with just regular store-bought boiled linseed oil. Um, things you'll need for this is boiled linseed oil, some paper towel, a couple hammers, maybe this. If the iron's really hard to get out, you might need to hit the um if the wedge is really hard to get out you might need to hit the iron and that you should use a steel hammer but usually just to remove a mallet um remove wedges you should just use a steel mallet so you take the plane that's what the wedge is shaped like that for so you can hook your finger in like that you just give it a couple solid make sure you use a nice um a wooden hammer that is not super hard and you don't use a steel hammer on the back of the planes. So there's the iron. I'll show you cleaning that up. Show me cleaning that up in a bit. Put that over there. So there's a plane body. This shape. I already cleaned the toe off a bit to see the maker's mark, but that's no big deal. And now I'm just going to start. So what I like to do, I just put a nice, I have another piece of plywood I use for this, but it's pretty um messy. So I got a nice white piece just for filming purposes. But so what I do is I take the cap of the boiled linseed oil, set it down. I think that's in shot. Might be. Take it and just pour some in. My jug's getting pretty empty here. And I take this fine, finer steel. Well, it's not super fine, but it's... Sorry about the video getting interrupted there. That's the bad part about filming on your phone. So here I'm just going to take the steel wool and uh, just, like I said, lightly clean it up. That just might go up again. I had to take it off. Fun, but just lightly wipe the surface. I'm not trying to remove any of the finish. I just do that. You, know, you can already see that golden sort of color come back to it. Now if I do that, I take paper towel, I completely wipe it off. And now you can see the contrast between that side and that side that's not done yet. The patina is all still there. Um, now I'm going to do this side. Same thing. I'm going to add some boiled linseed oil here. And I might even just throw a bit right on the plane. That way I don't have to refill the cap as much. So, and again, just giving that a light scrub like that. Light scrub. Not really scrub, just wiping on the boiled linseed oil with steel wool. Do that. I leave that on there for a bit. Um, just help it sort of soak in. Go over that again, like that, and then take the same piece of paper towel and just wipe off all that dirt. As you can see, the color that comes off this from years of sitting in a barn or old shop. As you can see, that old color start to come back. Um, take some steel wool, wipe the top. 
chamfers there. Same thing. And then now to get the ends. Do the same for the ends. Clean that off really well. The ends sometimes you have to scrub a bit harder to get any of the marks showing up. But once you do, they show up quite well. So there's some of the marks. And then I'll get the back here. That I think because that's still shot, no, it isn't. But yeah, just make sure I get all the chamfers and any nooks and crannies there and get that clean. It is a 5 8 bead. I don't know if you can see the stamp right at the tip of my finger there. That showed up. Um, and then I'll take the steel wool, duck it in here again, and just run in the profile just to clean any dirt out and help it so that when I go to use it again, it, it'll po all polish up quite nice. And this I'm not worrying about scrubbing too bad. Like, I'll scrub this quite well because it gets wear and it, it, the original patina never stays on the sole because of the wear it sees from use. There it is, all cleaned up. And now, just for the sake of the video, I'm gonna be using this tonight, so I'm not gonna put a another coat on. Um, same thing with the wedge here, I'll just say it quickly. Um, so I'm not gonna bother putting another coat to let it soak in a bit. I'm just gonna leave it like this and I'll put another coat later and let it soak in. Um, just make sure with your boiled linseed oil rags that you either put them in a jar of water right away or burn them in a safe spot. Otherwise they can spontaneously combust and burn down wherever you're working. So be careful of that. There's the wedge all nice and cleaned up. Um, now I'll take, go, take you and go through the process of cleaning up the iron and this plane taking some shavings.